set up out here. I really like these tree lines, these trees up here. So we'll see. I'm using a median easel and it attaches underneath here fairly easily. It just slides into to a little groove of an attachment that is that comes with the tripod and easel. If you watch the Frugal Crafter, she did a full review of this the other day. But this this raises up and it can go all the way back so you can work flat if you're working with watercolors. I've used this quite a bit. So it's been used with oils and I think just oils. But anyway, you want to make sure this knob pushes this as far back as you're comfortable with because otherwise this won't fit on here. This bar will hit, hit it. What I've done different this time, you can carry a couple of panels up there. What I've done, what I've done is I've taken a couple of foam core and taped down some Bristol paper for pastel work. This also comes with it. It just hangs on the edge and you can adjust this and you can insert this inside a roll of uh, paper towels or put a, put a rag over it or whatever you want to do. Usually if I go out and I'm working out, outside somewhere, I'll take this little bag and it has a box of pastels and some hand wipes and things in it. But I'm, I'm really close to home, so I brought a few other things. Got my large set, Mungios. I've got my very well used set of cinnamon here, and then the new set, and then this uh, academic set by Mungio. And I've also got in this box, there's some pen towel in here I can use. Tinto and some Paul Rubens as well. Is that corner in there? That just goes straight. This goes down. I really like these trees up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on some of these shadows and it's got some really nice shadows in there. And just lay it in, lay in the basics. I think I'm going to get the scent of the air out at some point. It's really dark in there. And under there. I don't know how well this foam core is going to hold up over time, but I suppose a thin piece of masonite would do the same if you wanted something a little more substantial. This is the first time I've used this easel for pastels for plain air. So I like how I can set my the ones I'm using, I can set here. <clears throat> and this box will hold hold the rest of them. Defining some of that greenery in there a little bit. I'm going to give myself about a half, an hour and a half on this maximum. I'm 
looking for something to mark the trees in here. It's a really nice tree right there. Maybe wondering why I haven't laid in the sky. And that's because I, I like the look. And these tree lines like this. And when you lay in the lay in the bluish grayish or whatever color the sky happens to be in there. I didn't finish my trees. It's not a happy little tree, it's a whoop whoop tree. And this is just so I kind of have a place my these aren't exactly what I'm seeing. These are, are just the essence. This has a kind of a yellowish. It's very early spring. It's today is the 17th of April, I believe. You can probably hear the birds. So the green that there is is really new. It's also about 4.30 in the evening, which is what's making these really nice shadows. These won't, this won't stay this color. I know exactly how I'm going to go over those. This is just to get the bright tone in there. So it's warm. It's like the perfect weather to do this too, speaking of warm. It's like 72. There's no wind. I've got a building to my right. It's blocking. Blocking anything that might come up. I'm going to get out my, my Mungio. I've got my basis there. I can take these I can take these trays out too if I really wanted to. Yeah, see I can get those out of there. And then just set, set what I need on the palette. But I think I'm going to leave this out. I'm so focused on getting my drawing course ready to go. I haven't been doing a lot of artwork, so this is this is a treat. You get enough pastel on here that you can kind of move it around. That's when I start really liking it. And I want them here. It's a cool shadow. I'll add some darker in there. I like this tone on there. Start getting some of the sky in here as well. And what I do is I work back and forth. This is a little too blue. So I'll tone that down in the next. And I don't mind those colors getting in there like that. I think this is where it's kind of bleeding. I want this. All this shadow has, yeah, maybe all this shadow in here. You can see 
back in here, you can see some trees, some um, trunks. Oh, that's a nice one. You can swatch all these, but I like that. There's a shadow. Should have set this blue aside. The only way I knew it was this one was because the edge was already used. And this, this being a new set, I know it's. Do you hear a hum in the background? That's our local cement plant. I know these lines look really rough. These areas, but we'll get them defined as we go along. You see that even that helps clarify it. Well, I like that mushy, mushy look. Nice loose. Too bright to take it. There's some brown back there, too. It's left over from the Where's my whoop, whoop, whoop tree? wide trunk on this one right here. Yeah, I'm going to change this to some ultramarine blue. That works much better. Berries here. It's kind of dabbled. I'm going to add some Gray back here. That's a little dark. There we go, that's better. This over here is much clearer. There's not as much visual disruption in here. Make errors, I can go in and scrape it off and reapply. My light's changing on me a little bit since it came out. Just a go. Softening those edges a little bit, that shadows so they're not so so sharp. This right here, this 
got to be really bright, bright green. I, went, I stopped and got my scratch into me because it helps. see that it helps kind of define some of those if you scrape off some of that you can get a brighter color put down instead of trying to mix it that darker Add some blue on the trees. Since these are new pastels, I can use that edge of the round. I'll get me some sharp lines. Hear that bird? What is that? I can hear him, but I can't see him. That's shooting a little over here, too. Sun is hidden. Always remember that it's the value that matters. Value does all the work. Color is all the glory. need some red in some of my areas like down here and this is that's too well and then put that with some that blue This shadow down here is getting even a cooler tint. I'm going to add some of this brush. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up these. Mungios and get out the center of the air and do the do the softer areas. Let's see if there's any in this new set that will just the basics. This is soft enough where the other couldn't lay in anymore. This does. This is more the red I was looking for. Some of these areas back in here. you have to be careful with these softer ones because they'll just 
whatever color you're using will just take over. I want to get out my full set or my other set. I love this purplish, whatever it is. I'm going to go back to my Mungios. Some of these areas I can hear. I don't like what these other ones do. Knock that back a little bit. Tongue isn't so strong. I'm not sure what they had. I'm trying to find the gray I used on. Oh, purple, purplish. That was a little much. I like that color. There's something there. get really quiet, it's because I'm focusing on one of these and adding. <clears throat> Try this and I don't know. Maybe. Slight highlight right in there cuts through that. I think we're about getting to the end. I keep messing with it. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to help it a lot. Now it's nice and loose. Indicate those in there. Touch that up and call it good. There's some yellow oak. What I'm going to use it for is side of the trunks. Just some of them where the sun is hitting. Give the trunks a little bit of form. They don't, I don't like this. Shake that off. This is a really light gray. 
probably shows up as white on the camera, but it's actually silver gray. Okay, I think I'm going to call that it. She says she adds just a little bit more. I'm going to just keep touching this up a little bit. Right in there, there's some lighter areas that kind of got overlooked. 